Hey guys, I'm gonna be reviewing pools and baits and tips and techniques of how to open uh, pool, open space pool. This is great for casting really far. And if you want to catch a big fish, you could hold a uh, heavy line, but not like 30 pound line. Like for this pool, it's like 20 at the max. Cause two big lines. <laughs> And this is good for like, catching bass, catfish, and bluegill and crappie. So this is an open face bowl. Alright, next is another open face bowl. This is the camera guys bowl. Uh, this is also great. Here's, this one is about the same size. And just to let you know, like, the more flexible this is, it's great for catching crappie because like then if you set it on your boat side, then you'll know, you'll feel the tug. Like you could see the tug. So that's, and also bass, but catfish is good too. Alright, next is the bait caster. The bait caster, I broke my line because I was catching a huge catfish. This is great for catfish and bass but bluegill I guess yeah but you could catch carp and even trout with this thing. It's great. It's sturdy so like if you catch bluegill then you probably won't feel it. Alright next is the closed face pool. Um flexible kind of this. Great for crappie again, bass and sometimes catfish. And this also right here it's right now off and when you get a fish if you turn it on when you feel tug, it makes an alert, and you can change the drag on it. So that, that's an awesome. Uh, it's called a bait 33 alarm closed space pool. It's awesome. Uh, next is a really cool closed space pool that has flames on it. Of you that likes flames, uh, you could change the drag on it. It's, uh, authentic 33 custom closed space pool. It's great for catfish. Um, bass, I I guess bluegill, but yeah. So that's my pool and my bait, and what's good for each fish. First is my good pack flap from Bass Pro Shop. Okay. First is my deep sea uh uh deep sea baits. This is great for like. I don't really know actually, but like big fish. You see, this you don't actually have to use for This one is good. Oh, yeah, also has this, so it's like eating something, and it has two treble hooks on. So, catfish, really big catfish, right here. Same with also really big catfish, bass, really big bass. If you want to go to the big lakes, like the real drugs, for example. Right here, I've seen a lot of people catch sharks with these things. These things are great for sharks. Like it has a huge hook. If you want to put like meat on there or something like that, you'll see it flowing through the water. All right, next is my worms. Oh, right here. I found these worms actually, all these. Here's all my worms down here. Oh, here, right there. Like there's all my worms and right here, and right there, copy bait. So this one's great for bass because it's brown and it looks like a worm. They love worms. And it smells really bad. It smells like garlic. And this is also worms. Good for bass. And then here comes my really bad smelling, but um, scorpion thingies. Like if you want to like, go down low, then cro uh, catfish, really big catfish, because they search the bottom. And same with these mini ones, but this also could catch a really big fish. Now my crappie bait. These. All these are great for crappie. It's actually a crappie assortment, muddy. So eyes that you put on. Here I'll show, here I'll show you how to hook them. Here's the great hooks for them that I got came with this. And I also have more of these, but this is a big one. Hey Clayton. Where do you get all your uh, accessories? 
uh, Bass Pro Shop, um, Cabela's, and this is also from my Uncle Robert, if you're watching this, thanks for it. And these pliers are from him, thank you too. And these weights, treble hooks, if you ever want to go catfish fishing, use treble hooks. These are the best, for real. Um, next is my bobbers. This is a huge bobber if you want to, like, go in huge waves. These are very stable for that. These are great for the ordinary lakes, and this is great. Like a or something, I guess. Leaders, yeah. Alright, now, on to my pool holder. This, if you want to put, if you're fishing, if you want to stick this in the ground, I guess that will stick in there. Put your pole in there. If you don't have an extra person to do one, there you go. It's perfect. It's amazing. Go to the Cabela's, the Bass Pro Shop. They have a lot of them, different sizes for each pole. That's where I get that. And then, last, is it's always great to have an extra box because, like, if you have weights that you would have just bought, then you would have an extra one to fill them in. If you run out of room, if you find some. And you also could take these things out. Like these. Eagle Claw is this brand. They sell hooks, weights, and even baits. That's probably my favorite brand for hooks and weights. Because they sell many more varieties of them. And yeah, that's all I have for my baits. I'm going to show you how to hook a crappie bait. I'll just use this one, I guess. Yeah, this one. Um, so first, here's the eye. So you hook it right through the top. And you bring it down. And when you feel it down here, bring it to the side. And then bring it there. And push this thing down in there. Until it passes this little sharp thing. There you go, there's the eye, and boom, there it is. There's an eye, you put the line through there and you'll see it. Perfect. That's how you hook a crappie bait. If you enjoyed clicking, give you some recommendations and some tips on fishing. And please stay tuned for more fishing uh, videos, and uh, hope you guys have a great day, and please like and subscribe.